my goal is to travel the world and give um, to be an inspirational speaker. Tell them like, just don't give up. Just push, always push for the best. Trying to describe Chaz as a kid growing up is um, like trying to stop the wind. He was infectious. He was a go-getter from the day he was born. Stars when you walk in. He was always climbing trees and getting into crazy stuff. Really fun growing up with these kids. Like, Chaz was black. Uh, Chaz was hit by a drunk driver March 9th, 2014. Was in a 64-day coma and had to relearn how to walk and talk and swallow everything, so. Um, he sleeps in his hyperbaric chamber every night um, and he sleeps in there because uh, oxygen is the best thing for your body. You can't survive without it. Well, the hyperbaric chamber provides oxygen and pressure, which pushes in the oxygen into your body. When I came home from the hospital, I weighed 144 pounds. I said, nah, I can't live the rest of my life looking like this. When I wake up, it's all about working out. I used to be able to do like 25, but now I can only do like four. But I'm pushing for more than that. So we had a public, um, our power went out. And we can usually see Chaz coming from his bedroom, or from the chamber room into his bedroom with the flashlight and we didn't see that. So I went over uh, next door to his house and I looked through the window and the chamber was still solid, so he hadn't opened it yet. So I ran back home, got my key, went in through the back door and went in and he's still sound asleep in his chamber. And I pounded on the chamber and he didn't wake up. The alarms are going off. Um, his oxygen generator has an alarm and his chamber has an alarm and he's sleeping through both of them. And so I knocked on it, I'm screaming, Chaz, wake up, and he is out cold. So I opened up the valve that lets the air out, and that's really loud, and that woke him up. So I'd always had the fear of Chaz suffocating in the chamber, but this night really brought it home for me. Um, he finally got out of his chamber and um, he asked what happened and I said the power went out and you slept through your alarms and it makes him nervous and it really makes me nervous um, because he could have just um, with the lack of oxygen when you're asleep you just pass away in your sleep and if our alarm hadn't gone off or if we hadn't woke up or if we were out of town you know there's a hundred different scenarios and uh, this backup generator is what would keep the pumps on. If the power goes out, it would, he wouldn't run the risk of suffocation. The cost runs somewhere around $12,000 um, to generate, to have a generator big enough to run the equipment and um, the power for just that room because he has two pumps, an AC unit to keep the pumps cool, plus his oxygen generator. We have a GoFundMe page. Um, we have a Venmo account set up as well for him. My goal is to travel the world and give him, um, to be an inspirational speaker. Tell him like, just don't give up. Just push, always push for the best. Hi guys, Shauna Pontier here. I just wanted to Say thank you so much, Summit, Dorian, Steve, Alisa, Lindsay, Leanne, Chaz. Thank you for the opportunity to be able to pay it forward. I hope that Leanne can, we can raise enough money so that Leanne can get a good night's sleep knowing that the electricity won't go out because there'll be a generator and that Chaz can get a good night's sleep. 
I know how stressful this could be. Um, this is very near and dear to my heart. My own father had a traumatic brain injury. God rest his soul, but he um, was a miracle as Chaz walks, talks. Chaz is working. He's a great daddy to his little girl, and he's just an inspiration to us all. So I just wanted to say thank you so much. Um, as a recipient of the Pay It Forward, it, it's so fun to do, and I appreciate you all. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.